Hello, my friends. I'm happy to have you here today. Hello, hello. Yes, indeed. Nice. We, have, we have a friend here from Paris, France today, and I'm stoked to be exactly. having the opportunity to share with Alan Clayton today. He's going to give us the story of how he went from the restaurant business to how he became an online affiliate marketer and did that successfully in a short period of time. I'm hoping that you are inspired by Alan's story. You can read the first part of his story in the post. And then, of course, Alan is going to tell the whole story here in the interview. So I'm very, very excited to have you here today, Alan, and my friend. Welcome. Lucky to be here. Thank you, Dean. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Awesome, brother. So generally, we uh, are nice and relaxed. We don't worry too much about what's going on. We just want to hear your story, hear you, hear you speak from a relaxed place. Give us that power of what changed in your life. So the first question I'm going to ask you, my friend, is... You made some changes and we all end up with a place where we you know we are struggling with life and we say you know what i've had enough and as you mentioned in your story that's the straw that broke the camel's back there's a background story with your restaurant business in in yep. france in france uh paris mm -hmm. france mm -hmm. so go ahead brother go from uh, wherever you want to start and just give us a, a story and let us know what got you where you are today and why you're doing what you're doing well i was i was um I was pushed by the circumstances, uh, actually, uh, you know, with uh, what uh, happened here in Paris, like most of you probably um, saw this uh, in news. Uh, we had those streets ri riots here going on like uh, during two years. And it just had it just became so violent at some point, you know, and when you're a local business owner, you you suffer from that. Like you you cannot not be affected like you you're in the middle of that basically mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i was in the restaurant business like all my life and um i i used to own two places here uh, two little restaurants which were mostly like a takeaways uh with a homemade kitchen like uh, nice. it was uh, homemade like uh, cuisine uh, yeah. i should say and uh it was going really well like i i was pretty happy with this and uh i didn't intend to change that much but then that thing came up and um i got uh really damaged and uh, you know my my one of my restaurants were really um was really um um yeah damaged where i uh, i simply was affected by by all this going on and uh, i at some point i simply decided to 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 not to um keep going with this anymore because you know i i just have had enough simply you know yeah. being uh, um vandalized and you know all that stuff and um it's part of those things that you you have no control control over you know yeah. you yeah. you simply you there in the middle of that thing and and you do as you know the best that you can but um, you know other people and other uh, circumstances uh, uh simply destroy everything all the efforts that you make so i i just didn't want to move move forward anymore with this awesome yeah and, and i remember reading something about a fire and, a, and an electric scooter being thrown through a plate window and yeah so exactly I, I only imagine the bother that goes through that with insurance challenges i mean here in canada uh mm -hmm. we can we can see a business boarded up for months waiting for mm -hmm. insurance decisions to happen how did how long did it take for your insurance situations to get straightened away with the fire and the window was, was it a, like a super long wait or was it just a few days how'd it go for you a few months you know because insurances were very busy at that time you know i was yeah. not i was not the only one who was uh, uh destroyed um so uh no, it's not that much the you know the time that it takes, but the effort you know and the loss of time and and everything and and even if like once you have everything fixed, you know you have that new uh, uh, front window uh, that was changed, and again you know somebody threw that electric scooter through it, and you know it was smashed again. And once it you know happens like a second, third time, you know at some point you just can't keep going anymore. So I decided to quit. Yeah. Yeah. And when you quit, did you, uh, I understand you were lucky enough or fortunate enough to sell your businesses before the, the pandemic. You yes, exactly. There. Yeah, that's awesome. It, that's awesome. Exactly. That was probably the biggest luck uh, that I've ever had because <laughs> I I decided to quit. It was at the end of uh, 2019. 
Um, and I started to meet like, you know, the guys who uh, were interested and uh, well, you know, the whole transaction actually happened right before the COVID came. Wow. So I was really able to monetize it, you know, because to be honest, like today, uh, restaurants and uh, not just here in Paris, but I believe all over the world, like they, oh, yeah. they don't value much, you know, they, <laughs> they're all closed. So uh, I would lose like so much money if, uh, if that didn't happen, like with that right time. And so I was really lucky, you know, awesome. yeah. no, you're, you're right. Because when you talk about all around the world, uh, 2020 was a nasty year and, we, and it was a surprise. We didn't expect it to work like that. Mm -hmm. And you, you were very fortunate to have that timing. I've watched restaurant owners here in Canada defy mm -hmm. lockdown orders in order just to get customers into the stores. And then, of course, they end up arrested and fined and, and mm -hmm. you know, they, they end up notorious in a way. So I'm mm -hmm. glad you didn't have to go through that. You were able to uh, switch to affiliate marketing, was it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I was simply, uh, you know how it happened. I, I was so fed up with everything that happened to me that I, I just naturally thought like I need to be working from my home, you know, because my home, <laughs> it's probably the only place where, you know, no matter what happens outside, like, you know, I'm, I'm the one who, who controls things, you know, you're, safe. you're actually safe. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm actually safe. And I was always attra attracted by this online business thing, but I just never thought this possible for me. You know, uh, I thought it was complicated and you, you needed to be uh, like techie, really understand the technical stuff. Like I thought it was for experts basically, you know? Uh, so I just, you know, didn't dare to get in, get in this. Um, but one day I, I saw some kind of a video on YouTube and, you know, there were two, three people who inspired me and I looked into this and, um, yeah, the decision was made. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And the, uh, it's, it's interesting that you went with affiliate marketing. I, I appreciate affiliate marketing. I, I am also an affiliate marketer and I really appreciate mm -hmm. the challenge. Mm -hmm. You connect mm -hmm. with the really, really impressive people, uh, when you are fortunate enough to connect with successful people in affiliate. Exactly. Marketing. And it makes exactly. a huge difference. And I've noticed that you've won a couple of awards. Can you talk to us about those awards that you won? The awards? The awards. Yeah, I noticed two awards. Ah, yes, sorry, yes. I didn't hear. Sorry, it's my English yeah. accent. You're in you're French. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are the ones uh, that I received from the platform that I've been promoting. So oh, first I received, uh, hold on, it's the other way around. Like you should be, is it readable? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this one is a four figure and uh didn't take too long and then i received a little big one <laughs> beautiful five beautiful. figure yeah. so uh this one is for exceeding ten thousand dollars in commission so uh since it happened like uh, only three months after i started uh well they they sent it to me you know so uh, i'm pretty proud to have it here sitting on my desk <laughs> It's amazing that you mentioned that you, you made $10,000 commission within three months. That's awesome because yeah, many people get on to affiliate marketing and they struggle. And mm -hmm. I found that the biggest difference is having a mentor, a coach, a, a, a structured program, a business model to follow, something that actually is you not reinventing the wheel, you not showing up and going, what do I do next? And having exactly. that place where you can have people teach you how to reach out, teach you who to reach out to, teach you what it is that you need to know, what it is that you need to do and not do mm -hmm. to have that success. What was the biggest lesson that you learned while you were going through those three months? Hmm. Well, I simply followed, you know, but um, the biggest lesson, well, they, they, were, they were quite a few, but they all come down to my mentor, Mr. Dean Holland, you know, uh, uh, well, he's someone who really inspired me a lot and uh, things that he speaks about in his coaching is are things that I, I, I just never heard about online from other people. And uh, like you said, you know, there, there, there's a there's a lot of crap on Internet in terms of courses like, you know, sorry for the word, but that's just the case. Okay. But on the other hand, there's a there, there's a lot of good stuff, too. And the most difficult thing is is to. Uh, distinguish those two and and uh, really reach out to the to right people the right system the right program that can you know get you off the ground and and make it happen for you and I was lucky enough to 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 get that in my in my life so um, what was the question actually <laughs> well just what was your biggest lesson what was the biggest thing mm -hmm. that you feel that you learned um, 
well uh what well what i heard well probably the most valuable thing uh mm -hmm. and, and that's like a secret like people it's so <laughs> simple but people don't don't realize it and i would like to emphasize it really so for those who are listening to me the market and in order to make it work and get results it doesn't work uh with general knowledge it always works with single-minded focus mm -hmm. like there's this uh, almost mysterious thing like people have this impression that they have to learn everything and master everything and be good at everything no guys no it doesn't work that way you you you, you can be really really bad in in many fields actually but you just need to pick one method and stick with it and learn it until you master it and that's where results happen and right. The people people just don't don't know it and it's so simple okay. and uh that's probably the most valuable thing that i learned yeah awesome and it's amazing that uh so many people out there when they start an online business mm -hmm. they actually believe that they have to do this and that and this and that and yeah. that's what distracts them from that focus exactly. and that's what keeps them from their success mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i actually went through that when i started my affiliate marketing i had a lot of uh, personal growth personal development uh, you mm -hmm. were lucky that when you started your business on online your online business you already had a business background that's not yeah. something that i had a bonus of when i started i started out mm -hmm. was just I, I i was used to being an employee and mm -hmm. i did not have the background to understand what it took to run a business mm -hmm. and that that is a that makes a big difference because i notice a lot of people when they get into affiliate marketing they have a lot of doubts they have a lot of, of self-talk that holds them back from actually mm -hmm. pursuing that one focus that makes mm -hmm. the difference. Now, my personal development has made a big difference for me. And I know that as a business person with those restaurants, you went through a lot of challenges. You went through a lot of issues that helped you with that growth, that made you that man that knew what you wanted, mm -hmm. had the experience behind you. And that makes a big difference for a business person. What would you say would be, I know you mentioned uh, Dean. What was Dean's last name? I, my name is Dean as well, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> His name is Holland, Dean Holland. Oh, cool. And Dean would Holland. you say he was your biggest influence or was there someone else that would have influenced you or taught you a lesson or made a difference for you in your life? No, that was him, definitely, because we come from the same background. He was in the restaurant business as wow. well. And uh, his backstory was... Uh, uh like more violent than mine like you know he was down in debts like for sixty thousand dollars and he uh worked his way up until he became you know a multimillionaire that he is today but still um yeah I, I was impressed like by this person and uh impressed by his simplicity as well because um even if he's a uh, like you know famous famous british marketer today and and like i said multimillionaire still he is very accessible you know i get i get to speak to him like you know almost daily if i want to you know i ask question he's there it's just normal guy you know and, and it's so pleasant to work for people like that you know and if you if you when you when you like someone who created products who are mm. products that are based on such a integrity then then your audience kind of can sense it and feel it you know then that you know you are promoting something that you can fully stand behind and that's that's really important awesome yeah. and actually what is the product that you uh that you support and, and uh, promote well what i basically promote is is um is uh his program that is described in this book so it's a free book uh the name is the iceberg effect okay yeah. so it's a book pretty thin but it's full of knowledge basically really it's really uh it's a book that set me up and running really definitely so all affiliate marketers who want to create a sustainable profitable online business from scratch without having a website without having a product or without having audience uh you can basically do it and get results like within within a few months so uh this book uh it's free like you know you only cover shipping and handling fee and uh, the link is going to be below the video so i strongly encourage everyone who is uh, interested in starting affiliate marketing business to read it definitely awesome, awesome. Yeah. yeah it's it's a powerful thing to have a book and a lot of people online <clears throat> excuse me don't understand the power mm -hmm. of a book there's a lot exactly. of people that that don't realize that that's a huge thing to be able to support and, and for you to be able to promote that book gives you the edge. A lot of people are, um, they have that extra edge 
because they're either an author or they have a book that they can promote mm -hmm. that makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. I use a book. Uh, I, I'm a coach as well, an online mm -hmm. coach. And I use a book, The Strength Finders. And it's, mm -hmm. it's a book that talks about how you are, how society today has focused like in school and in so forth. We focus more on your C minus grade as opposed to your A plus grade. And mm -hmm. we're oftentimes people will focus on their weakness rather than their strength. Okay. And it's a huge part of success to understand that we get further focusing on our strengths and mm -hmm. not so much on our weaknesses to build mm -hmm. our business and to build mm -hmm. ourselves and to just to, to advance and to grow. Is there a myth or is there something that you learned that you found to be untrue in what you do that you'd like to talk about? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Just one line about what you said, like sure. you know, learning learning from books is, is big in general. And not many people actually think about it, you know, That's that right. there's something like old fashioned in it for many, especially for the young people. But, you know, most of the stuff that I know, I learned from books and people basically who want to start with affiliate marketing, uh, they have more like this um, um, habit of going on YouTube, you know, and watch the videos. Uh, whereas it's something that overwhelms you pretty fast and, yeah. you know, because you often get pulled into different in different directions and the information sometimes is, is conflicting, you know, so I, I don't like, plus there's a lot of, you know, stuff that is really outdated and not legit at all. And as I often say, uh, scammers don't hang out in libraries, but YouTube is full <laughs> of them. <laughs> so like that. that was that was just uh, on that note sure. now about the myth about the myth yeah there there is one that i would like to debunk and if if really like guys if you're listening to me please i wish i knew that at the very beginning uh affiliate marketing has this reputation of being a, quite a cheap business model like you know you can start with uh you know you, you don't need some you know big amounts of money but it's not free Okay, uh, and that's really a huge myth that I I try to combat like on a daily basis, and people get into it, get into this like confused from the YouTube videos that I just mentioned, like yeah. because you know there are so many YouTube videos telling you that everything is for free, and build your website for free, build your blog uh, posts uh, for free, and this software free, and can have it for free, and the word free is everywhere, and so so uh, those those videos gave to people, gave to the audience this misconception that this business model is actually free and that everybody can access it. That is not true. Okay. That's that right. is absolutely not true. It still right. requires some investment. If you want to make it work, you have to put money on the table. That's just how it works. And every business requires investment. So why would it be any different with affiliate marketing? That's right. hundred percent. And I agree. I couldn't agree more because there has been so many of my clients when they get to me they they're, they're disappointed they're they're disoriented they're confused because they've been through all these free videos free programs free mm -hmm. tree, tree trainings and they're thinking why is it not working and then when they get into that place where they realize wait a second i have to pay yeah you have to pay you have to put in some money you have to what one of my mentors says you have to have skin in the game Mm -hmm. And to be able to be in a place where you're going to get that value, you're going to get mm -hmm. that knowledge, you're going to get that mm -hmm. process, you're going to get mm -hmm. that mentorship. Because anybody that's a millionaire mm -hmm. isn't a millionaire because they're not charging for their services. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And there's no good product out there that's free. And mm -hmm. it just and the, the fact that you brought this up is so powerful because it is mm -hmm. so true. And a lot of people, when they start in online marketing, affiliate marketing, whatever the case, network marketing, multi-level marketing, they say, oh, it's a pyramid scam. I shouldn't have mm -hmm. to pay anything. And they don't realize that every profitable business on earth is a pyramid. It just exactly. is. It is what it, it is. is. It is. And it's amazing how many people don't grasp that. They mm -hmm. think that, you know, I work for a company without realizing that, that company is selling a product and it's a pyramid structure and you cannot have a business that is not a pyramid structure that does not sell a product mm -hmm. which means there's got to be money involved right so <laughs> so i'm, I'm yeah. really happy go ahead yeah yeah exactly exactly just to explain why it happens because you know i i digged 
this little deeper like why why do they have that this misconception now that i know where it comes from it, it's mostly youtube to be honest but why that that word is all over the place because free we say from free that that is a the most powerful word in marketing yeah and those youtubers they use it as a keyword yeah like when you create a youtube videos and you put in your title the word free it automatically drags the traffic that's how you you know grab the yep. traffic so mm -hmm. they make those videos rank uh because of this word in the title but you know that that that's where the misconception comes from you know it doesn't mean that whatever they show you is actually free that's right. and then uh you know all the software and everything you know that they speak about of course there's always a free version of it but those are often like a trials, you know, it's only for a limited time and with okay. limited features. And once you actually buy those courses uh, and you listen to what they, what those mentors tell you, very often they tell you, hey, listen, this is, this is a free version, but I recommend paid every time. Every single thing that they promote, like, you know, click funnels, yeah, there's a free, but there's a paid. Uh, get response, yeah, there's a free, but they, I recommend you pay. So everything is paid actually. If you if you want things that work like correctly and and well for your business, you have to pay for it. That's right. You know, that's right. That's right. And it's normal. It's just normal. That's right. And mm -hmm. I've I've had actually many many coaches in the past uh, to become the high performance coach that I am. I have always discovered that the the greatest value mm -hmm. has come with the highest price. Mm -hmm. There 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 is no getting around it. If you want value, you've got to pay the price. That's why people want when they're let's talk about cars for a second do you want a a, a toyota or do you want a lamborghini where's the <laughs> value right or a porsche yeah. or a land rover mm -hmm. you you pay you get what you pay for is essentially exactly, the purpose, exactly. right so and, go ahead yeah so just you know to mention the award like if i was able to grab one of these that's basically because i have put some money up front in right. order to get there that's like right. With zero investment, it wouldn't happen. Don't worry. <laughs> That's right. So what would be the, the best advice that you could share with somebody? I know we talked about uh, being willing to pay for the value, be, having a mm -hmm. mentor, but what would be your biggest piece of advice for someone that wants to get into affiliate marketing? Hmm. Um, partner with the right people. Now it's it's difficult to say once you don't know the space. Well, I know now who is who is the most you know trustworthy person and who I should have partnered um, you know from the very beginning. Um, but uh, uh, most the biggest advice. Well, um, do not be that much like be scammed because you know from what I see. Um, most of everybody like got scammed at some point, but it seems to be like a part of the journey. See, unless you get scammed for ten thousand dollars, well, that would be like a drama. No, I'm I don't mean that. But you know, just buying some stuff for fifty dollars, hundred dollars, sometimes you know it's not it's not worth it at all. It just uh, teaches you, you know, it gives you a lesson, and it's not that much. And that's how you you build those those radars. You know, you kind of sense. Uh, you can kind of smell that uh, scam coming, you know, from that point on. Like, I, I don't know if I'm expressing myself right, but uh, that's how it, uh, that's how it worked for me. Uh, mm -hmm. I was scammed just like you know most people were, and uh, next time you you kind of know you you know how to avoid it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I agree. Because you know it, it's not the right attitude to to be suspicious suspicious to everything. That's right. Like, you know. That's what separates people who succeeded and those who didn't. Yeah. That those who didn't, for them, everything is scam. Simply everything. They don't even, you know, look at things and it's scam. It's scam. Everything. They just don't trust. And that's not the right attitude, no. you know, to have. Yeah. yeah. Value, I think, is the word we're looking for here. Look for the value. Uh, and mm -hmm. the thing is that you don't know value on the outside until you experience it on the inside, and then you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there's Definitely. a lot of a lot of products have a warranty uh, mm -hmm. that's a sign of value uh, one of the things that I like to do is when I initially engage with a client I give them value up front to let them know that I'm not scamming them I don't try to sell the product right away mm -hmm. I try mm -hmm. to provide value as an individual to help them solve a problem before we even go any further just to let them know that wait a second you know this guy's willing to help up front He's willing to make a difference up front. And there's a lot exactly. of people that 
there's no value in that upfront help. And that's that's mm -hmm. where you got to find out where you're being scammed and where you're not. And when exactly. We're, yeah, and when we're marketing, we got to understand that someone that just throws that link out there and says, buy my product, that's that's where you're scammed. Doesn't work. Right? <laughs> that's, that's the that's problem not, right there. So that doesn't work. <laughs> that's a big challenge. And a lot of people don't get that, that you have to develop mm -hmm. value or relationship, no like, and trust, right? Exactly. And KLT. That, yeah. Failty, exactly, 100%. So what would be the one thing, the one focus or the one purpose that you have in your new affiliate marketing career? What's the one thing you're trying to do? Uh, I'm trying to be consistent with what I do. Um, I'm disciplined. You know, I uh, try to do less, um, like a smaller amount of tasks and being more consistent with mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that's the advice of my mentor. Um People don't realize it. Like I said, like uh, things get clearer. That's how the confusion and the overwhelm goes away. When you actually do m less things, but you do them, you focus on them more. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what I try to apply on, you know, in my everyday life. And yeah. it, it really works. It yes. works, yeah. you know. Do less and get more in a way, because that's another thing that my mentors, as well as me, teach. Don't get into overwhelm. Don't mm -hmm. load yourself up with all kinds of tasks and then only do mm -hmm. half of them and do all that half poorly. Mm -hmm. Limit your tasks, focus on them, get them done properly, mm -hmm. finish them, put some value into them. Powerful, powerful message right there because that is the one thing that will make a difference between being frustrated each time you wake up thinking, oh man, I got to do this again today, right? Mm -hmm. Or I get to do this again today. And there's like, a huge difference between those two mindsets where you're actually you know you're providing value you know you're making progress you know the success is mm -hmm. there as opposed mm -hmm. to where is the progress where is the success why, why do I feel negative about this uh, it's a big thing in business today and this 2020 and well into 2021 business is online so we have to exactly. be in that, we have to be in that place where we understand that's the thing that we're doing. Now you mentioned a book earlier. Is there another book besides the one that you're promoting that you found very very powerful for you? Yes, because I try to read a lot. Uh, so I try to read uh, uh, useful uh, like things about my field. Uh, I I really like. Uh, it's probably a little old fashioned, but it applies perfectly in the online business. I like Brian Tracy. You know, Brian Tracy, uh, really nice guy, very old now. And uh, he wrote this book that that everybody who has a problem with the time management should read. Like, this is really great. It's called Master Your Time, Master Your Life. And he breaks this um, uh, book in, in a few uh, uh, different, like, uh, there's a summary, like, uh, you know, different types of a time that everybody has to follow. And yeah. uh, it, is, it inspired me a lot. Like definitely, uh, you know, it goes through the Pareto principle that mm -hmm. which probably you, you must have heard of like 80% yeah. of the results come from the 20% of tasks. And it, it's, it's really, it's really powerful. So, uh, then another one that really impressed me recently, uh, was about the Ian Stanley, who is probably one of the best uh, copywriters uh, of the planet right now. Um, so it's called uh, Confessions of a Persuasion Hitman. And this one is really thin, like you can pick it up. It's it's free as well. Um, and uh, he gives a lot of tips, like really interesting, especially people who are for people who are uh, in the copywriting field, but not just that, okay? Affiliate marketers in general, like it goes through psychological principles like how you know a human's mind works yep. and um and, and, and it was yeah it's really it's it's a great read wow. well i could go on go on like that <laughs> those. yeah well, the definitely. point is that book reading the value in books in quality books is massively powerful for your success and, and one of the mm -hmm. things that i provide for my clients is i provide a free book list of mm -hmm. these different books that make a big difference, that have made a big difference for me. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm a, a, a huge proponent of the law of attraction. So many of my books deal with the law of attraction, explaining it different ways. Uh, and they've, you know, and the power is in the understanding of what's in those books. So mm -hmm. what I've learned is that you can read a book once 
and not really understand it. You can read a book twice and start to catch on, but by the time you've read a book three times, you're actually in that where place where you can really comprehend it and teach it. Mm -hmm. when, when we can teach, that's when things start to change for us. If we can mm -hmm. teach other people, uh, the, that's what made a difference for you and me, is we were taught what we needed to know to get to that level of success. And being taught, being able to teach is huge, huge, powerful mm -hmm. thing for business people. Mm -hmm. What would be um, a lesson that you would think that you would teach someone that's starting as, as one of your new clients or someone that you were coaching or mentoring? What would be a lesson that you would teach them? Um, in terms of books, you mean, or, or just uh, a life general? lesson, self-development, anything that you feel would be most valuable for the individual. The most valuable. Um, hmm. Well, uh, like I said, uh, I know the, the, the discipline, self-discipline. Well, mm -hmm. that's what really takes you far because, you know, that's what can set you apart from all the other people, you know, people yeah. kind of, you know, I'm doing what I'm doing full time now. And I could probably, if, if I, if, if I didn't discipline myself, I would probably wake up at 11 AM, you know, which I just never yeah. do. Uh, even if I don't have any, any, you know, precise schedule whatsoever, still, I wake up every morning at seven and um, sometimes it's even dark outside. You know, I'm already sitting in front of my computer and doing stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's about a self-discipline, about um, doing things like go go all in, go mm -hmm. all in. Yeah. You know, in order to get those results, because you know, people people they they still take it like a side hassle. You know, yeah. and that's just yeah. one of the reasons why they they never get results. You know, that's it's right. just. It's a real business, you know, it is. It is. and I, as you said at the beginning, since I have that business background, even if it was on the local, in the local business, uh, uh, like field, I, I have that discipline, like uh, ingrained in me, you know, and, uh, and I had to have it because, you know, in the past, like when you have a local business, the, the money and the investment that we mentioned before, uh, that you have to put, put up front, uh, was much, much bigger. Yes. You know? 100%. Uh, yeah, I mean, so, yeah. with a restaurant, if, if you don't, uh, own the building you're at least leasing the building plus the equipment exactly. plus the employees plus the insurance there's a lot of investment in, in having a, a uh, brick and mortar business that far mm -hmm. and above mm -hmm. what you have mm -hmm. as an affiliate online business mm -hmm. very very mm -hmm. powerful incentive to dig in and do the right thing all day every day and you mentioned how you you know you're not afraid to work 12 15 or more hours in a day and uh one of the yeah. beautiful things about having your own business online is you can schedule your own time exactly right and many of my clients are all over the world like for example i'm in canada and you're in paris france so it's it's you know there's many many hours between us and yet here we are communicating equally so it's yeah it's a let, me, let me mention something sure. about this because because i i don't know if, if if it's my local business background that makes me say that but you know this is actually something that online people don't realize much how lucky they are to work when they wa want you know the day they want like that business is going all the time it's 24 7 uh like no matter if it's cold outside if it's warm if it's windy if it's the beginning of the month or a end of the month or if it's a holiday like it, i i feel like so lucky you know because if you're when you're in the local business there's constantly uh you know i I'm going. I'm going back to that external uh, factor, you know, yeah. thing. When there's always something that annoys you, always yeah. something. No matter how great your dishes are and your ingredients and how great your service you provide is, there's always something external that brings your business down. And I really hated this. Like you know, and in the online business, like there's no, there's no, there are no seasonal effects, no. for example. Okay. It just keeps running and it's so pleasant. You know, yeah. there were days like when I, I, I couldn't fall asleep while well, at 2 AM, I would just sit at my desk and I do some blog articles whatsoever because I just felt like doing it. And it makes no difference if I do it at 2 AM or 2 PM. And that, that, that's great. Actually, that's great. Yeah. Really. I would like to emphasize it. You know? that, that freedom, that ability to set it, your own schedule actually mm -hmm. gives you a more positive mindset because many, many people with jobs or, mm -hmm. or brick and mortar businesses, they're tied to the location. They're in exactly. that place where they have to show up to that location between such and such o'clock and such and such o'clock. And, and they commute. have no choice. 
and commute back and forth, travel, yeah, get in traffic jams, take a uh, mm -hmm. public transit, whatever the case may be, ride a bicycle or an electric scooter, uh, mm -hmm. whatever the <laughs> case may be, right? And we get into that circumstance where we're we're trading time for money almost, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we're in that place where the that time is is in charge rather than we are in charge, and it, mm -hmm. it's so much more fulfilling to have yes. that control, to have that ability to make that decision for yourself rather than have it made for you. And that yes. makes a big difference. That makes a big difference. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we go through your uh, Facebook and, and that link for that book? Um, well, totally related to what you just said, I would add just one more thing that nobody really speaks about. It's the stress, you know, that I, I don't know about you, but personally, I just never feel any stress when I'm online. Like uh, there's no stress in a moment. You know, you can you can go through all kind of feelings. Like you can be, uh, you can you can be excited. You can be uh, discouraged. You can be uh, sad. You can be like, but just never stressed. You know, it's it's such a you know high point. Like you know, it's so positive. So such a big advantage. You know, to never never be never be stressed. Like you know, because you know when you're when you have an online business, it's definitely not the case. Like you know. Yeah, just, that's just right. part of your days all the time That's right. um i was drained by this all the time so uh now i don't have it anymore and i appreciate it a lot that was just to complete the list <laughs> absolutely and one of the things i find the most powerful for me mm -hmm. is experiencing the other person's transformation helping them with that win and mm -hmm. sharing that win with them because okay. they had the trust to let me step up and help them meet that challenge start that business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. beat that limiting belief whatever the case may be and to share that that mm -hmm. next level with them that's something that yeah. i really enjoy as an individual so that's been awesome really really appreciate your time mm -hmm. alan and we're just going to talk show everybody uh, on the banner here your facebook link i will be putting the, these this link and the the link for your book in the comments sure. so that mm -hmm. people can reach out to you uh is there a email address that you wanted to add at all that you that are you good with no, just Facebook and, the and the book? Facebook Messenger is just fine. Like I'm right. on it like the whole day, so anybody can reach out to me anytime through the messenger. No awesome. problem. Awesome. And here's yeah. the link for the book that you mentioned, yeah. the iceberg book. So this that is, is yeah, this is the link that will have people connecting and getting an opportunity to receive that book from you. And exactly. uh, if they click on that link, does the order form and everything is in there? And all, that's all they have to do is click. Everything on is in there. Everything is in there. Awesome. You just uh, you just enter your email and uh, you cover the small shipping and handling fee. I think it's seven dollars ninety six for the delivery, but you know delivery, but the book is free. Cool. Uh, and then there's an audio file delivered as well. So that's really highly practical, like for people who prefer listening to it, like in the car yeah. or wherever, rather than reading. So it's it's provided for free, and uh, so you can start listening to it before actually the real book, you know, arrives. Uh, and uh, yeah, that there that that's just simple, you know. Just pick You're it up, awesome. guys. There's there's nothing to be hesitating about. It's uh, awesome. it's a price price of a sandwich. So uh, that's right. You know. That's right. At a, <laughs> at, a, at a Paris restaurant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. Really exactly. appreciate your time today, Alan, and uh, your no insights, your expertise. It's been a real pleasure, my friend. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Dean. You're welcome. Just going to uh, share something a little special at the end of my show. I like to share this with everybody, and then uh, we'll chat after.